And now for something completely unscientific. I'm going to do my best to compare the floatability of these materials. It will be up to you to decide which works best for you. We'll be comparing macrame cord from the craft store, straight xelon fibers from blue ribbon flies, Wopsy's polypropylene floating yarn, McFlylon polypropylene yarn, a McFly foam product, Enrico Puglisi's EP trigger point fibers, ultra dry yarn from Falling Mill, and last but not least, UTC Antron yarn from Wopsy. I've tried to make the samples as equal in size as possible, all about two inches in length. First up is macrame cord, which floats pretty well on its own, but sinks quite readily with a poke test, but does drift back up to the surface. Straight Xelon also initially floats very well and stands up a good bit better with the poke test. Polypropylene floating yarn quickly penetrates the water's surface, but then readily floats back up after it's been poked. McFlylon starts out floating nicely, but when poked, saturates rather quickly. EP trigger point fibers float remarkably well and even stand up to a good bit of poking and prodding. The Falling Mill Ultra Dry Yarn behaves in a very similar manner to the EP Trigger Point Fibers. Antron Yarn was kind of a surprise for me, as it initially floats well and floats in the surface film even when fully saturated. 